Hello, welcome. My name is Scott and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, episode 28. Yeah, I just like, I, I just like started talking about what happened to me last night. I was like, I just didn't hear any replies, so I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh shit, I've been kicked out of the party. How about that? I don't know what happened to the party, actually. Who the fuck's... Arthur? <laughs> Hi, Charles. Going out hunting again soon? Maybe. Well, that went nowhere. That's my horse. Must have been fucking out again. I'm gonna guess it's my horse because I can't hear a horse galloping towards me. Oh, oh no, it's there. <laughs> that horse belonged to Bill. Okay. Thank God it told me that because I was <laughs> thinking, what the fuck was my horse? Yeah, no, um, I was watching TV last night and Paolo phoned me. It was, this was like 2am, so I was like, what the fuck? Thinking, yeah, I was like, who the fuck, why is he calling me at this time? Uh, so I picked the phone up and I thought, okay. So I was like, asked, oh, you know, t trying to talk to him. But, um, well, after like saying his name like three times, I realised he'd probably pocket dialed me. <laughs> so he was walking along with his phone like <laughs> on. So I had apparently phoned like you know he phoned me, <laughs> pocket dialed me. So I, like, what the fuck? So I thought, well, I'll let him know that he's po you know pocket dialed me by calling him back. So yeah, I, call I, I called him. I was like, yeah, you uh, you're right, because you accidentally fucking died. I was like, oh shit, sorry. I was like, no, it's alright, it's fine. <laughs> I was awake anyway. I can't, mate, I've got, I'm trying to go and do a mission. <laughs> he was like so apologetic, I was like, Jesus Christ. So no, I think he got a bit too drunk last night, because he phoned me up. He was like, did, did I call you last night? I was like, yeah, you, you, you pocket died me. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> He's like, well, he must have been fucking absolutely wanking last night. Where am I going for this mission? Oh, here. What do you want, boy? This here the Grey Plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. <laughs> You're a good boy. Shh. Oh, it's a caretaker. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the woods. I was gonna say try Master Bo. I was like, what? <laughs> so, so I, I wouldn't. Oh, it, what? <laughs> try Master Bo. <laughs> so what the fuck? I just thought he was gonna say try Master Bo. <laughs> so what the fuck, you know? Like, excuse me. This guy. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. What the fuck is up with me? Why am I jerking around? We friends? Not yet, but he is <coughs> open. I guess. <laughs> we don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious and strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Cool. What are you doing Yankees. Here? I'm just looking for work. Well, looking for something. 
Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Oh, okay. Love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond Not my of Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some <laughs> okay. nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds, it seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Is that it? So long, farewell, motherfucker. What else here on the property? Did my horse follow me? Around the back? <coughs> the idea is I was going to park it here in the foot for you. Okay, nice to know we can just go for a hedge. Thank you, can service. I just talked to the bloody kid. Yeah. Wait. I hate how it makes you jump over certain stuff. You know, like everything that you know you can jump over. <laughs> Where's my horse's stamina? I forgot where the heck it is. What the hell? Damn. The hell is going on? Like, what the fuck? Smoke everywhere. Am I supposed to like try and somehow Assassin's Creed my ass through here? Stuff here I can take. Oh, 
Da. Right, okay. <coughs> Plants get the shit out of me. Oh fuck, there's a car there. I'm fucking confused. Does it have to be at night, this mission? It doesn't exactly... what? Like, see, this, this is one thing I don't actually like about the map. This is not like the GTA 5 map, you can't just... Whereabouts is she on the map? Because I'm fucking confused. But like she's obviously in this house. But... I'm trying to sneak past these guys. spot where these people are, I don't fucking see them.
don't see anything left. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh, from Bo. <gasps> Bo, he is Bo. so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages. Or, well, I don't know. Cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate mm. him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. Hmm. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him <laughs> because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't yeah. stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, Will you give this to him? Sure. Hmm. Oh, that's great. Leave here without being fucking seen. Wait, is this turning me around just like it? Was that hit? Was that there before? I'm just going to keep running this direction. Let's 
<laughs> yeah, it's like fuck. Okay, so this thing is shit, they just pointed people everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, boy. Where is he? <clears throat> you got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'll bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Fuck, how long is this mission? That kid fucking out late for me, Jesus Christ. I'm actually want to put an end in this episode here, it's coming quite long.